Florida Congressman Ron DeSantis. All right, good evening, Congressman. I, I, I must tell you that when I heard uh, Trey Gowdy say, you know, our definition of, of leak is is a uh, is a felony as opposed to James Comey's. James Comey uh, seemed to be actually uh, uh, stunned when Brett Baer said to him, "When you leaked this to Dan Richmond, he was like, no, 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 it wasn't a leak. What is a leak?" Well, look, if you believe Comey's explanation, then uh, you'll believe that it's going to snow in Miami in August. It's just totally ridiculous. He even really admitted it was a leak when he testified originally because he said he wanted to create a special counsel. He went back to his files. These were some of them were classified, but certainly they were government property because, remember, he was distributing them to people like Andrew McCabe and Rabicki. So this was clearly a government document. Some of it was likely classified. And by him putting it out there, that is exactly what a leak is. He's a leaker, and I think he's in really trouble with the law, not what? only for the classified potential, but it can be a crime to leak defense information, even if it's not actually classified. He's been referred to the IG. I've led a letter that he should be referred criminally. Uh, but I think this book uh, tour has blown up in his face big time. Well, I think that the book tour, uh, Congressman, has created a lot of controversy in the sense that what he has said before subcommittees, as opposed to what he said on television, as opposed to what he said in the book, can be three different versions of, 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 of the truth or his truth anyway. But I want to talk about one in particular. He was asked if uh, there was any uh, any truth to the, 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 the thinking that the FBI agents uh, who interviewed Flynn uh, actually didn't think he had an intent to deceive. And when asked this, he said no. But then there is a transcript of his saying before the committee, a uh, House committee, that his group didn't detect any deception on the part of Flynn. So we denied it twice. So you've got him in the transcript and then now lying about it. It, it. You know, Jim Comey used to be a smart guy, the guy I knew. But is he so confident that our system is so weak and that if they slow walk DOJ and, and FBI reports that no one and, and certainly no one in the Justice Department will ever prosecute him, that he's laughing all his way uh, uh, all the way to the bank? Well, he's definitely going to the bank because he's making a lot of money on this book. And uh, I think he's really doing damage to the FBI as an institution. I think he does think that, that he's not going to be subjected to any type of accountability because very few people have been. I mean, McCabe being referred was like a major deal. I know I was calling for that. I know you were. But that typically had not happened. Usually that elite bureaucratic class lives under different rules. And that's one of the big problems with how our system's operating right now. So I think Comey... Um, I think he has a lot of issues. If we have an equal application of the law, you can't say that a submariner, a petty officer in the Navy who takes a picture right. of a submarine, which he shouldn't have done, is classified, but didn't disclose it to anybody, he gets a federal felony, but Comey can maliciously leak potentially classified information, and we just act like nothing ever happened, that's wrong, Judge. And, and make money on it. But, you know, we would need someone in the Justice Department to prosecute. Is anyone at the switch? And I have 10 seconds. Well, we sent the referral to Huber and to Sessions. Sessions isn't recused. Uh, we need to get an answer on that. But, but I think that we're closer than we were three or four weeks ago. Well, let's hope so. Congressman Ron DeSantis, thanks so much. And coming up,